السلام عليكم شباب ازيكم عاملين ايه وحشيني جدا اخباركم ايه النهارده الفيديو مميز فيديو ما عملتوش قبل كده معايا ضيفه عزيزه هي كريستينا من المانيا انا مش هتكلم كتير هي هتبدا الاول تعرف بنفسها وبعدين مجهزين لكم مفاجاه في الفيديو انترفيو اسمعوا لي الانترفيو هيكون بالانجلش فاتفضلي كريستينا معاكي الكاميرا والمايك شكرا قوي السلام عليكم انا اسمي كريستينا <تصفيق> وانا كنت عايشه في اسكندريه سنتين انا كنت مدرسه بالالماني هناك And so now I moved back to Germany. And um, so I'm still teaching, but I'm much more into coaching because I believe that here is where I can make the biggest difference. And thank you so much, Ahmed, to have me in this video because I think, you know, like this can be so valuable for your people. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, so I just, I have um, some questions. I will start with, Who is Christina Wessendorf? Um, the people want to know who you are, what do you do? So please, let them know. Awesome. Okay, so like you know, I'm, I'm you know, I'm really in between, you know, my, my love language is absolutely um, in, like the Arabic and the French. And um, so I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of a typical international traveler, but I was always a very purpose-driven traveler. So I was, you know, I was born in Germany. I spent my childhood in Germany. I went to France. I studied partly in France. And then I went to Egypt. I married in Egypt. Uh, I got married, right? I was living there for two years. I divorced and now I came back to Germany for the reason that I want to maintain my business and earn euros or dollars. And it was just unfortunately not possible in Egypt. And yeah. so, um, well, I'm still German teacher. Um, I'm teaching intercultural competencies as well in Berlin right now um, for Arabic adults. And, but more especially, I'm also coach for travelers who have a vision, who have a dream. And, Sometimes, like, like you want to go to another country, like, right, your people, like, you want to go to Germany for a better job, for better studies, for a better future. Uh, but it's so hard when you go to this country that you still maintain your dream, that you yeah. still, right, you need to find an apartment, you need to find, like, a job, like, friends, and it's the, it sometimes feels very, very hard to do it all on yourself, and you forget maybe a bit what your big dream was. Yeah, of course, you're right. Um, there are people who want to live in another country um, and they want to uh, work there or um, they have like um, different cultures. And the question, why do you find yourself expert in travelers coaching yeah so true so i think you know i'm like i'm very like one of my talents is that i'm super adaptive mm -hmm. i'm crazy adaptive like um for you guys right i went to egypt the first weeks i could not speak any words i learned the numbers to read the numbers right um but like I, I was so totally lost. I could not speak the language. Um, I, I had no idea what to do with the money, right? Um, I, had, I was so afraid to cross the streets in Escandereya <laughs> because we have no traffic lights at the place where I was living. So um, I was so afraid to go shopping because the people might judge me. Everybody's looking at me. Maybe they, you know, give me prices like tourist prices. And yeah. I would not recognize it because I had no money, no idea what to do with the money. But here's the thing, Ahmed. Um, um, I booked Arabic classes before I went to Egypt. Mm -hmm. And after two weeks, I had two phone numbers 
of people I could call, like four Egyptian people I could call to meet on the Bahar. Um, and I had, you know, even two, even one person I could, you know, ask one Egyptian person I could, uh, I could ask to, to look for a wedding dress. And I think this is very special that in the first weeks that you still are, you're already so socially connected yeah. that it becomes much easier to live. And I think after one month I had a job. Right, so everybody says, oh, as a German native speaker, it's not so difficult to get a job in Alex. But I was, I was so proud of me because it, you know, it, it allowed me to, to went even deeper into the culture. And so I think this is one example of how it can work out, right? You don't need to spend a half year in Germany and still be alone or a half year in Germany and still not be able to speak the language and still be afraid that people are judging you. You're right. But we have to admit that um, in Egypt, it's easier to contact with another people or to socialize other than here in Germany. It, in Germany, it is, of course, possible, but I mean, it takes longer time. You know what I mean? But in Egypt, you can't, like you said, from the first months, you started to socialize, meeting people, and it was so easy for you. I guess from my experience when I got here in Germany, yeah, I, I, I spent like a couple of months, three to four months, then I started to socialize. It was not that easy at the beginning because in Germany, people would speak only German. Some of them want to speak English as well, but it's it, it, it was not easy. I mean, that, that's the type of difficulties we want to talk about in this video because our travelers don't know what they want. Yeah, they, they want to travel or to work or to study, but they don't know these culture differences. That's what mm -hmm. we want in this video to, um, explain not not explain i mean you during your coaching or through your coaching you can um yeah coach the differences between the cultures so um that comes to the next question how can you coach and help the egyptians not just the egyptians because uh, my youtube channel is uh, channel is not only uh, for Egyptians, but for <laughs> I mean, I have followers all, all over the Arab world from yeah. India, Saudi Arabia, and yeah, many other countries. So, how can you help the people who want to travel to Germany during this Corona time or this lockdown time? It's such a valuable question, right? Because still, the people continue watching videos on YouTube, or even more. Yeah. But also the people are looking for solutions and the people are looking for something that are not bored at home, right? And somebody who understands them and somebody who is speaking into their, into their real feelings, what's going on, right? Huh? And I just would love to acknowledge you, right? Then you are sitting right now at home mm -hmm. and you would love to travel and you you know you were so close to, uh, maybe to to apply for the visa for germany or you, yeah. you already had your goethe certificate and and you were so excited to show your family that you you can do it right or you were already planning and you had okay when i go now my kids will come in one year after right so you had an amazing big plan and right now it's not possible and still you are watching this video Mm -hmm. And still you're following Ahmed because you want to find, you want to find a way and you want to keep your hope. And I would love to tell you that you are like, you're already maybe better than 80% of your friend circle, right? Yeah. If you are one of the person who's not only saying, well, I, because like, if it's not you, it's totally fine. But I heard a lot of Egyptians saying, I don't like the people in my country. Like, I want to be more positive. I want to wake up early. I want to, you know, I want to have, I don't know. So um, when you're saying like, hey, everybody complains in your surrounding and you want to be the person, right, who, who is doing your life, 
Well, you're watching this video, so be proud of you. Yeah, Next first. And then I would love to, um, Ahmed, if you allow me to, to switch the screen a bit. Yeah. Uh, this is right now the whiteboard. And I would love to give you the first uh, thing what will help you right now in this Corona time to figure out what's going on and to figure out how, how, what, what can help. Maybe to shift your mind from this, well, nothing is possible right now to the mind thinking of, I know what to do next. So here's what I, uh, what I found out when I was traveling and I had a situation where nothing was working. Like everything was on hold. I wanted to, I was in Egypt. I wanted to go to America and I had not the money on my bank. I, I were not sure if the visa was valid. I had just a flight ticket back to Germany, not more. I had no accommodation nothing and it was just 24 hours before the event in america was starting mm -hmm. and i felt stuck i felt like my family would tell me oh it's fine you know don't worry just maybe next year i did not want it to be this person who is like my family says oh yeah we know it. you could not do it right with corona it's not your fault but still you know there is something in you who wants more. So one of the first things what really helped me is to check again on my vision. Yeah. Ahmed, please tell me, what was your vision when you went to Germany? What was your, what was your goal? What was your dream? Well, my dream, of course, at the beginning, I wanted to study because I came here for um studying reason mm -hmm. and finishing my studies i had another dream is to work in germany so this was my biggest dream to live and work and be part of the community here in germany mm. yeah i love it i love it because because yeah I will show you because I would love, I will explain you guys and, and together with Ahmed the idea right now. And then I would love to ask Ahmed again, what parts of his dreams are related to what, what visions? Okay, so I, I made a game and I said, okay, there are two types of visions, the A type vision and the B type vision. Let me go into this. So the first one is the A-type vision. The A-type vision is a vision where you can see yourself already in this place. It's something what is so real for you that you can, might already see yourself in this, in this country. You see yourself with this woman. It's exactly this woman why you want to travel. It's exactly this job, exactly this company, right? Uh, Siemens, for a lot of mechanical engineers out there. Um, so it's exactly, you know, this company I want to go to. So you have a very, very specific reason and you don't want anything else, right? You want to study exactly this, in exactly this university, in exactly Germany. This is an A-type vision and I call it, it's real. Because I don't know about you, Ahmed, but sometimes in my life, when something like Corona happenings, like I have no control out of it, I ask myself, does God or life wants me to do this? Because there is an obstacle put in my life. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I'm a spiritual person, right? So I, 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 I talk about life um and so i think when we have an a-type vision life really wants us to do exactly this but there's a there's another type of vision and this type i call it the b-type vision yeah. the b-type vision is a vision where you are going after the vision because of a feeling it's when you're honest 
not exactly this woman why you want to travel, but it's because you are longing for family. You want to have this deeper soul connection, right? You want, um, it's, it's maybe not exactly this job, or maybe you did not find your dream job and you think like, I don't want to start a call center job, right? Um, but maybe in this call center job, there will be um, colleagues you absolutely love. And this is, a, this is the feeling that you want. Maybe you want freedom in Germany. You want social respect. You want to be valued for your work. You want to be accepted just the way you are, you know, without anything else. Yeah. So it's, it's a feeling-based vision. And back to your examples, Ahmed. So what kind of visions did you have? Study, work, and live, be part of the community. Where would you put them? Uh, I guess I would put the study work at the real, <laughs> as an A-type vision. Mm -hmm. Maybe be part of the community and B-type vision. And be part of the community. Uh -huh. What does it tell you, Ahmed? Uh, anything? Yeah. What, you, you mean um, be part of the community or what? what in, in, in total, like, it's so interesting. Like now, like right now we see that there were a mix between A and B type vision. Yeah. And so when you think about what is especially right now in Corona, what is still possible? Where do we have influence? What can we manipulate? The A type or the B type? I guess the B type. True. Yeah. And because it's feeling based, it's, it's, you can do it from everywhere in the world and it should be your aim to develop it right now in your life because you want to have this beautiful feeling of to be part of a community right now. Why should you wait for this in six months, right? Why, why should this feeling to be accepted, to be, you know, just be enough, just, just be enough with all your quality at, at work. And, you know, when you have the fears, does Germany wants me? Does the economy of Germany still wants me in one year when I'm ready with my, with my German brain? So, um, but you can create it already right now. And, and let's just make the, one of the last exercises. Um, Ahmed, can you please tell me in this circle, what is the percentage, what was, when you think back, the percentage between A and B type? Like, for example, like this, right? You had a mix, a mix between A type and B type. Yeah. And so what was more, like 80% A type at this time before you went, or was it 80% B type or how would be the percentage when you think back? Um, yeah, as I got here oh, before traveling, I guess the A type was like, yeah, 70% mm -hmm. was like 30%. Uh -huh. But this, um, yeah, after a couple of years, this changed a lot. As I started working and ah. the community and um, yeah, started connecting with people, this percentage started to change. Aha. Oh, this is great. Like, how is it right now? Or I mean, how was it when you, you know, started to, to get into the community? Right now, it's like... Um, 70, 30. I mean, B type is 30 and A type is 30. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's real. Wait, B type is 30? Oh. No, right now, I mean, B type is 70 and oh. A type is 30. Mm. Yeah. And this is so cool, Ahmed. This is so cool. Um, 
please t tell the people who are listening right now and watching right now to you um like like this development how is it when you compare it to your happiness level how happy did you were in in this moment or in how happy are you in this moment of course in the b type i'm more happy <laughs> than in the a type because in at the A type, it's uh, more stressful, and at the B type, like I said, it's feelings. And uh, the more you are into it, the happier you will be. Oh wow! Means you are relaxed. Yeah. Uh, can it also be Ahmed that right now, like I think you are an amazing host. I think you are doing amazing videos. Do you think that you are also, um, you care less about judgment? Uh, about judgment for what? You know, about any negative critic, what you get in your life and, you know. Uh, you mean from, um, yeah, negative, uh, impressions from whom you mean from from any people so my 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 what i'm thinking right now is um well when i'm living more in the b type mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm more relaxed you know i i'm feeling better my question is okay does it also helps me to just do my thing in my life and to do what I love to do and to, to be more and more happy and to less get stressed by other people who tell me that I should do this or this is not yet good enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can understand you. Um, I guess right now it's, like I said, because I'm more in the B part uh, or B type, um, I can judge more positively, not like the A type. In the A type, I was um, very, um, like I said, stressful. And yeah, I was not thinking right because mm. I, I want the things like studying or working or so to be like in my vision. And mm. it, yeah, exactly. So it was so stressful so annoying but right now i can judge these things like working or having a job or living i can judge it more um positively more wisely mm. yeah. yeah oh wow oh wow this is amazing Absolutely. So, and here's, here's my last question, right? So everybody, I hope everybody asks themselves right now, how can I be like Ahmed? <laughs> how can I use this time in Corona to get more to the B type? Because this again, like when you listen to Ahmed, he said, this is something you can influence. This is feeling wise. This is independent wherever in the world you are, right? This is so independent. Look, I was, um, okay, I found after two weeks, I found friends in Egypt. Everybody could say, hey, the Egyptians just love you. Okay, this is fine, right? Um, yeah. I, was, um, I was studying in France. I was, um, I had incredible friends groups in France. And the French people are a bit more open than the German one, but not super, super open, right? I guess I can find friends, you know, in very short time everywhere in the world, in China or whatever it is, because it's, I, I focus on the B type. And I, I, I'm naturally like this, but you can learn it. So there is a course you can learn for it, it takes the perfect time of the next six weeks and you can put goals in the beginning of in the beginning of uh this first six weeks and you can 
create meaningful goals. And I really talk about the B type because I think when you follow Ahmed for a longer time, he changed, right? He changed. Look at him. He's super relaxed right now. I did not know you, you know, some like two years ago, but um, still. So you put goals who are deeply meaningful to the person you truly are, true, true to your values and something that will help you in the next six weeks and you will accomplish. And you will learn the tools right now, the B type tools to accomplish them in the end of those five weeks or to progress tremendously. And this is what I'm offering. This is what I learned when I had like a very difficult time in Egypt. When I was, I was going to Egypt. Can I share this, Ahmed, just my last story? I hope it's okay for you. Of course. So, um, thank you. So why did I went to Egypt? It's a crazy story, right? Um, well, I, I met this Egyptian man in Germany. I fell in love with him and he told me I'm married. I have two kids. And there was something inside of me that still said, oh my gosh, I still want this man. He's still amazing. He, because he is my true soulmate. He is a soulmate. And you can have a lot of, you can meet a lot of soulmates in your life. At least I do. And um, <laughs> so in one another day, I stand at the window. I said, Christina, you like, what are you doing? You will move to Egypt. You want to move, like you want to, to become second wife in Islamic way to this man, even if he has a wife and two kids, what are you doing? And I was really listening inside of me. And I heard this voice saying, Christina, you are meant to be in Egypt for the next years. Like, I was, I was so stressed about the A-type because I knew I would suffer. Yeah. And I still said, told myself, hey, this is my A-type. This is so exciting. This is exactly what I want. But my voice told me, Christina, there will be always be a mix between A and B type. And what is your B type? And my B type was life wanted me to, to go to North Africa and it was Egypt. And Alhamdulillah, it was Egypt because I would never meet Ahmed. I would never, you know, made, made the TEDx talk in, 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 in Alex just, you know, a half year ago. And, um, but here it is, what, what Ahmed, exactly what Ahmed said, this is so funny. I went to Egypt, I was suffering a lot because I had the dream of my A time and I arrived there and it was not what, ex not like I imagined. And I was suffering a lot because I was acting against my values finally, because I, I need a man for myself. I cannot share, right? So, um, and, but still, my B type was in the right place. Okay, so everything not right now to tell you that in those difficult times where I was acting against myself finally, I found this course and you know, like you can you can take what, what Ahmed and me would just discussed, you know, with A and B type vision and figure it about and find other stuff in, in the internet. It's totally fine. I totally get it. But I just want to tell you it saved my life. And that's why I said, okay, gosh, I, I went to um uh, I went to Asia, I was I became a coach of this course, what it saved my life at this time because it gave me it gave me some per certain point of inner peace and I I changed my life even if I did not change my husband but I could change my life to a more happiness level and this is the same I want to tell you right now you cannot change corona you cannot change if the airports are open or not but you can change how you feel and what you are doing right now with your life and your happiness level and still things can change so Ahmed, thank you so much. You're welcome. No, I thank you so much for this interesting speech. Um, yeah, this, uh, you told me before uh, we um, record this video that you have like uh, a present for the watchers or for the people. So tell me about it. What, what kind of present you have for them? Yes. 
Okay, so because I would love that you go out from this video and you take something home, you know, this is for free. So I have a free gift for you, what is, um, that you go on, on the website AbundantSoulTraveler.com. I think Ahmed will post the link. Um, and that you are, you know, you need to, uh, you put your name and email in, and then you will, um, you will receive a welcome email what is asking you for what is you right now in your life your biggest like your biggest biggest headache what what is your biggest challenge what what is your biggest problem like is it that you wanted to quit your job and travel and right now you have to go back to your boring job or what is your biggest challenge right now and i will um i will collect out of a pool of 23 interviews with experts um, around the world what I interviews for the subject traveling purpose um, how to manage your time and how to manage your mind um, who am I right who am I who is my true me uh, why do I you know wh why for what do I'm seeking in my life so out of these pools I will select free interviews what I will send you for downloads, you can keep it for a lifetime. In this interview, each of them is 30 minutes, will help you right now to support you in the things that you are stressing out the most. So once again, you go on the website, you put on in your information so that I can, that you can send me, hey, Christina, this is like what I'm really struggling with. And I give you access for download to these interviews, what will help you hopefully right now in your life. Mm -hmm. All right. Sounds cool and interesting. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, other than this course or coaching, how can someone contact you or find you on the internet? Do you have like a website or a Facebook page or something like this? Yes, uh, the best way is to go on my Facebook page. Um, it's Leben in Fülle, Roch Farhana. Um, you will, if you want to type Roch Farhana, you will find it in Facebook. There's not a lot of things else, right, out okay. there with this name. So uh, you will find the Facebook page uh, where you can, you know, contact me. You can find videos, what are hopefully also helpful in this time. And uh, well, so also when you special invitation when you are a teacher. Uh, you're teaching maybe German teacher in, in Arabic um, countries, um, right? Or you're a Arabic teacher in Germany right now. So uh, when you also go on the website, on the Facebook page um, from Leben in Fülle, you will find an invitation for free webinars. What are supporting you right now to, to teach online and to uh, support your students in these times. So, um, I, I will give you the link again, Ahmed, for the Facebook page. And I, I put all the links uh, for you people uh, down in the uh, description box. You can find all the links. And uh, yeah, all you have to go is to surf a little bit and search a little bit. And yeah, you will find very interesting things uh, from Christina. Because, you know, people, I don't do interviews with anyone. On my channel and because she has a goal and she has an aim so I, I said yeah she um, I, I should introduce her to the people so that you people are uh, auch, auch. <laughs> so your people also <laughs> so you also know uh, some important and interesting stuff so it's very um, important for you. Okay, so I will sum it up. Um, yeah, I mean, do you have anything else to say? Because I, I said all the questions that might interest the people. You people, you can write me down in the comments uh, section below. And as I said, just directly contact Christina and you will be happier. <laughs> Well, maybe my last words would be, I highly, highly, please, please comment below on his, on his Facebook, uh, on his YouTube video, because uh, like Ahmed is doing an amazing work and he brought me here 
and because he, he concerns about you, what you are going through. So when you comment below, right, we both, or, right, Ahmed will tell you, will tell me, we both know what is helpful for you. And what did you like? What did you not understand? Where, where do you still have questions, right? What is, your, what is your fears right now? Because it's super normal. The whole world is afraid. So it's normal. <laughs> but there's also other people who have ideas and solutions. So uh, we just would love to hear from you. We would love to know you. So don't hesitate and really go into comment section uh, so that Ahmed can read what's going on in your life. Exactly. Okay. Thanks a lot, Christina, for your time. And yeah, I wish you a happy holidays right now, the, the Easter. Yeah. So uh, holidays and for all of you guys. Until next time. And salam. <laughs>